Now, the streaming business, um, you guys have been growing incredibly fast um, among your subscribers and bringing in new subscribers for that matter. Um, what are the advantage that you guys, advantages that you have in the DVD world that maybe you don't bring to streaming? Um, and then let's talk about the competition. Well, in streaming, we have so many advantages that we actually don't have in DVD, mostly that it's so compelling for consumers. Right. Um, and now we compete in a much broader, we compete uh, globally, uh, right now just Canada, but right. we'll be expanding beyond that because streaming allows us to do that. Competing in television shows in addition to movies. So on DVD, we're mostly all movies. Right. But on streaming, we're about half television shows and half movies. And so big expansion in the available market ways to please consumers. And then for consumers, it's click and watch, click and watch, right? Built into their PS3 or Xbox. Box or we um, now in the new televisions it's getting built in so it's getting easier and easier to just use Netflix so tremendous advantages to the consumer now you also asked about competitive advantages right. and the same as in DVD those are scale effects the larger we are uh, the more our brand is known and so the harder it is for someone to attack us to copy us but you know there will be many competitors in the space you guys had this idea that if you built this deep catalog in concert with your personalization, you know, that trumps new releases. I mean, DVD is all about new releases, right? And so is streaming ever going to be for you guys about new releases? Uh, one of the challenges that we had in evolving beyond DVD is DVD is so great. Right. And in particular with DVD, uh, Netflix has the legal right to always just go to Best Buy, buy a thousand copies and rent the movies. Right. And so we could be comprehensive. We have, you know, 100,000 titles, have every DVD, because it's pretty easy to go down to Best Buy and, and get those DVDs. Uh, on streaming, it's a different set of law, and we have to ask permission of the studio uh, for that content, and often they've sold that permission to somebody else. Right. Uh, and so it takes a lot longer, and so we had to build a service in streaming that doesn't have as many of the new releases as on DVD, but it's unlimited. Right. You just get to click and watch, and it's so easy because it's instant. There's no more waiting for the post office. Just click and watch, click and watch, and it's so addictive. You guys are partners with Apple now. Um, you're partners with Google via Google TV now. Um, in, on the sidelines, that people, you well, you're partners with HBO. They give you, you know, they rent you DVDs. Um, so you're partners with a lot of sort of studios, cable providers, your partners with studios, your par partners with these large um, technology companies. Are you sort of threading a line right now? I mean, those partnerships, they might be your competitors going forward. Um, and what would they have to do to sort of unseat you guys? Um, or what would you have to do to fend them off if they, would tr if they want to try? Well, it's always hard to tell in advance. Um, what happens in general is uh, large companies that enter new markets, uh, say against Netflix, they'll have some plan. Maybe there'll be better Facebook integration than we ever considered, or maybe it's ultra high def, or maybe it's they have sports programming and we don't. And so they'll have some angle by which they think they can differentiate as they compete. And until we know what those angles are, it's hard to figure out you know, what to do about it. So mostly what we focus on now is just how to get better, how to get more content, how to get the streaming smoother, the high def better. Uh, we just added 5. Dolby 5.1, so um, there's another how to do more territories. And so our focus for now is not on the competitors, but just how do we race ahead and please more and more consumers. Let's talk about competition a little bit more. and and. We, uh, I should, for full disclosure, are owned by Time Warner, and among um, the companies that Time Warner owns is HBO, which will not uh, license streaming content to you guys. What, are, they're a partner on the one side, but they're going to be a competitor, aren't they? Well, HBO has an incredible brand, and really they're in two businesses. One is aggregating movies from other people, right. and one is creating amazing shows uh, like Boardwalk Empire. Um, on the first business, packaging movies from other people, we're arguably a competitor over time. Right. On the second business, which is creating great uh, episodic content that wins amazing numbers of Emmys, we're a natural customer. So we hope to build a very large uh, customer base and then be able to write them very big checks to right. be able to carry that content. 
So on one part of their business, we're competitor. On another part, we're natural supplier. 